I get Starbucks like almost every single day. I wanna see how much I spend a year on Starbucks. So I get it almost every single day, sometimes twice a day. Let's just say in a month, 35 cups of Starbucks. They're what, five, let's just say 550 <laughs> times 12. $2.3,000 on Starbucks. Bro, I need to fucking chill, dog. That's like a used car right there, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? So basically today I have these fucking receipts from random places, Target. I just thought it'd be funny to go into like the wrong stores and complain like as if they fucked up my order. I'm not even, like I don't even want to call this a prank. I just want to fuck around with nah, them. It's and... a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Do I look like a fucking Karen? Can I speak to the manager? Hi, you guys had me park in the spot to wait for my food because it was gonna take, it was just a filet of fish and a Diet Coke. And I was waiting for like 25 minutes and cars are going back and forth and I didn't get mine. I have the receipt right here. It's not? Hi, I ordered like 40 minutes ago and I've been waiting for my food and nothing. Like what's the holdup? 37 minutes ago. Well, what'd you order though? Right, right it was here? just a small fry and a frosty. You ordered right here? Yeah, you guys had me park. It was taking a while for whatever reason. But you, what'd you want? I'm gonna tell them right now. I honestly, I don't even want it anymore. I'm gonna write a very large paragraph on Facebook about you guys. Right, I'm never coming back, okay? It's fine, but what do you want, your money back? Yeah, please. That, that's not our receipt. We're not giving out receipts. So what do I do? So, but what'd you order though? <laughs> no, I, I didn't order bro, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, Dude, yeah. that was the fucking coolest guy ever, dog. I didn't want to keep going, bro. That one was gonna give me food, bro. Fuck a Karen, bro. Karens always get their way, that's so annoying because they have to take the customer's side. I, where's my food? This is ridiculous. What are you talking about? I just, I don't know what This, you call this customer service? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I'm just kidding, we're just fucking around. Oh <laughs> what the fuck am I doing, bro? What do you want? <laughs> What's so funny? What the fuck? <laughs> What's what's the holdup? I've been parked waiting for my food for 20 minutes. Um, where the, what is this for? My food. Yeah, but I don't know what this is. This is windshields. It's what? What the heck is that? Excuse me, how can I help you, sir? Are you the manager? Yes. Okay, good, because I've been waiting since 1.37. Where did you place the order? Right here, back there. That receipt is not Why are you laughing? Because that receipt is not You're going to be laughing when I contact corporate. Okay, sir. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One time when I worked at McDonald's, this guy came in with an empty fry carton, greased the fuck up, like obviously he already ate the fries. And he was like, there was no fries in my carton. Can you guys give me a large fry? We had to give him fries because we always have to take the customer's side. That shit's stupid as fuck, bro. All right, bro, let's go actually skate, dog. <laughs> I felt like I was like in a reclining chair, bro, in fucking mid air, dog. I was like, I can really change your body, baby. Hello, Rich, and I'm hella waving. Okay, so a lot has happened recently. First things first, I finally had a video on my channel hit a million views. Thank you, thank you. I, oh, no, sorry. Please, please no pictures right now. I just, 
I mean, I guess I can sign an autograph or two. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, I've been wanting to have a video on my channel hit a million views for the longest. I literally put it in my New Year's resolutions video like a few years ago. The next goal I can't really control, and the reason I say that is because I want to have a video hit a million views on my channel. And like I said in that video, it's not necessarily something that I have a lot of control over. It's just kind of something that happens, and I'm so glad that it was actually a video about myself that I worked hard on rather than one of these bullshit videos. It was actually a video that I'm hyped on and a video that could give those million people inspiration and just push them to not give up in skateboarding or whatever they want to do but the one thing that sucks is that when i filmed that video i actually had strep throat and my shit was swollen as fuck like i looked like fucking wide neck dog so obviously all the comments were about my neck but who knows maybe it was for a reason maybe all those fucking comments are what pushed the video into the algorithm but i look fucking fried dog but i also recently did hit 100,000 on instagram so thank you guys all for that this is sort of a big deal for me not only because it's always been my goal on instagram but because this is like my second account i had to make the tough decision to make a new instagram account and stop using my old one when i was already at 65,000 followers. I did this because my old account was kind of shadow banned and it was making it hard to grow through Instagram. Like I was only getting new followers from people coming from my YouTube channel and from like pages reposting me and shit. It was kind of a risk making a new account, but I'm so glad I did it because I knew in the end it would pay off in the long run. Also, I never showed you guys, but the other day when I was filming with little Bam, his board shot out into the middle of the street and this is what happened. Oh shit! Oh fuck, fuck! Oh, I couldn't grab it, bro. Your truck sucked dick. I couldn't grab it. Hi. I was driving on a young gentleman with a skateboard in his hand through the sk skateboard. I didn't have it in my hand and I didn't throw it at you. His board slipped out from the sidewalk and it went into the street. You had this in your hand, though. The, but this isn't the one oh, that hit so your I car. Went over the car or we, did someone throw a skateboard at me? No, it slipped out from his feet. It was an accident. Learn about it. Okay. No, I thought that you threw your skate because I saw you run across. No, okay. His skateboard slipped from over here. I was running to try to stop it. I was trying to save it. Okay. I didn't That's want it to break. Thing. So I thought maybe you threw it. No, no. I, we wouldn't skateboard. throw it. <laughs> but did I break his skateboard? No. Because if I did, I'll pay for it. No, it's fine. It was an accident from both sides. It's okay, but we appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Have a good one. That shit pissed me off because I thought she was dead ass just gonna lie to the cops right in front of me. But she just genuinely didn't know what happened because everything just happened so fast. So I thought she was gonna be a Karen, but she ended up being cool at the end. Even offered to pay for the board, even though it was just an accident on both sides. And I posted that clip on TikTok and it got like 3 million views. And there was so many comments of people just calling me a dumbass for chasing after his board. The only thing I'm gonna say about that is that I did not expect his trucks to flip a fucking U-turn in the middle of the street. If his board would have just continued to roll straight, I would have safely grabbed it and I would have been chilling. But yeah, I never once blamed the driver for running over the board people were trying to say that in the comments but we're skating next to the road we know what we're getting ourselves into you know there was a lot more shit that went down that day when i was filming with bam so i'm definitely gonna be making a video for my second channel make sure you guys go subscribe if you aren't already what else has happened recently i feel like there's so much going on i did skate the barracks a couple weeks ago and for some reason i just never put it in one of my youtube videos so here's that session Also, a lot of you guys have been asking about the new Late Club merch. It is going to be dropping sometime next month, mid-February. Make sure you guys follow me and Late Club on Instagram for the updates. I'm currently working on a skate edit for the release. I've honestly just been having so much fun with this shit, bro. Like, I genuinely enjoy everything that I've been doing. Like, I've been doing YouTube for, like, half my life, and there's been plenty of times where I just kind of gave up. Like, I wouldn't even post for, like, almost a year just because I felt, like, burnt out. It was just YouTube, YouTube, YouTube constantly, and it's still like that for me right now, but I'm starting to kind of not take it as seriously as I used to. Like, now I literally get to just film and do whatever the fuck I want. I don't feel forced to film one specific type of video. Like if I want to go skate, I'll go film skating. If I want to go fuck around and mess with people, then I'll go film a prank or whatever. If I want to hang out with friends, then we just do it, bro. Like all I've ever wanted to do is just create videos without feeling like I have to do something. And the audience that I have, you guys genuinely fuck with me. So I'm able to do just that. That right there has got to be like the biggest blessing out of all of this, bro. This year is already off to a fucking great start. I have so many new projects and shit on the way. Don't ever think for a second that I'm slacking, bro. Even if I just don't upload a YouTube video for like a week or two don't let that make you think that i'm not out here working bro i got my foot on the gas dog don't forget that shit 2021 is our year bro ours i say ours and not mine because it's us in this shit bro we're in this shit together i wouldn't be shit without you guys so let's fucking get it dog i got new money i spent it the waste time you truly are dummy to think you could tell me why the fuck girls be driving like this bro you know it's